Hey everybody, welcome to some WWF WrestleMania 2000. I've just been having a hankering, a mad hankering to play this game again recently. So I'm super excited. We're gonna play it. I'm gonna do some Road to WrestleMania mode, which I haven't really properly done in forever. I think I did it on the show like, God, I don't know, eight years ago, something nuts like that. And it was streamed back then too, I was Jeff Jarrett. But this time, Midian. We're playing as Midian. This is a 100% Midian fan club zone. All respecting Midian all the time. Number one Midian respecter right here. Ministry all day, every day. Everybody should love the ministry and their awesome theme. Uh, don't give me that, that fucking skeptical face in the chat. Yeah, all hail Midian. That's what I want to see. Thank you. All right, we're enough of this intro. <laughs> that was... Are you kidding me? <laughs> I nailed this awesome intro and my my uh, controller like bugged out on me there and yeah it doesn't it doesn't detect it. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close the emulator and reopen it real quick and we're gonna leave that in the video everybody. This is a professional operation. Boot that back up, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, is that gonna show up proper? Oh, okay, cool, it showed up pretty quickly. That's awful nice. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks, emulator. That was, that's great. Yeah, that is first take. I did get it in the first take, shut up. <laughs> All right, so uh, right away in the options, we're gonna be playing on normal difficulty. The default when you boot up the game for the first time is easy for some reason weird um and we have bloodshed on that's also off by default i don't know why some people like referee on because it's hilarious seeing the um nick patrick redrawn as uh earl hebner but i'll i'll leave it off it doesn't matter and before we play as midian i want to show you the roster of the game real quick not 100%, but generally, as you go, go farther to the right on this list of wrestlers, you're kind of going down the card from your crazy strong main eventers like Stone Cold Steve Austin there flipping off the camera, and you eventually go down the card to, you know, like the, the new guys. Test, he's, he's a pretty new wrestler at this time. He was like a bodyguard for Motley Crue, and I think this is even before he was with Test and Albert. Uh, he might have been dating Stephanie at the time on the TV show. Who? Uh, there's Farouk back when he's in the Acolytes. He's one of our buddies because he's, uh, God, I don't even know if they were called the Acolytes yet at this point. They might have still been like, had like six nicknames like Hell's Henchman and stuff. But you know, Farouk and Bradshaw, some people might know as JBL from later on. This is before they were the APA. And then you go a little farther down the card and you get things like, whoa, really young Hardy Boys, where Matt Hardy looks pretty good and Jeff Hardy looks like a recolor of Matt Hardy. And like they were managed by, um, by P.S. Michael Hayes at this time. You've got um, Mark Henry before he was sexual chocolate. Double biceps there. Back when he was with D'Lo, you know, with the European champion and everything. Oh, yeah, good times. Everybody remembers the Attitude Era. And then you go a little bit farther and you go to the bottom of the card with the people where they didn't put as much effort into. You get your your meat. Some people may know him as Sean Stasiak. Um, I remember him as being the guy who did one of the scariest worst throws I've ever seen to Mr. Perfect in my life. Uh, and he had some crazy themes. His WCW theme was awesome. And that's, uh, I don't have much else to say about me. We got Brian Christopher and Scott Taylor, who, don't get me wrong, they're awesome. But this was uh, when they were too much. These guys would later go on to be too cool, which people remember a lot more fondly as being the goofy guys who danced around with Rikishi. Everybody loves them. This this is the, the version of them that people don't remember. I mean, I thought it was kind of cool, but whatever. We got the blue meanie. You know when we're on the same tab of, of characters as the Blue Meanie that our stats probably ain't so good? Today we're Midian. I love Midian. But to be honest, they did him real dirty in this game. Not design-wise. Look at him. He looks great. He That was a misclick. He looks great. He looks just like Midian. They did a really great job on the face and the tattoos and the shirt and stuff. They got his taunt in it with the finger things he's doing that's going off screen. I mean, the alt costumes aren't so good. They just 
change the color of his pants to colors he never wore, like, ever, I don't think. But, but whatever, I, I get it. Midian mostly wore more or less the same thing in most of his matches, except for how sometimes he didn't have that shirt and he had, like, a tank top thing. But whatever, they didn't put it in the game. It's not that big a deal. It's an alt attire. Where they did him really dirty is his stats and his move set. Now, I understand if you haven't seen a whole lot of Midian matches, he wasn't exactly the main character of the show in the Attitude Era. But I have seen a lot of Midian matches. And, um... I mean, the, the most immediately glaring one to me... Hold on, I'm remembering how this menu works. It's a little... Uh, I gotta go all the way to the bottom here. No, it's front grapple and then the bottom of front grapple, maybe? Yes. His, his front finisher is a Canadian backbreaker. Now, I'm not gonna be so bold as to say that he's never done a Canadian backbreaker in his life. It's this move. It's, it's an awesome move, actually. I really like this move. Um, but uh, I don't think I've ever seen him do it as Midian. I'm going to be honest, there's a different move that's actually in his moveset uh, that he won a lot more matches with. It's right here. It is just a normal old neck breaker. It, it was called the eye opener, and he won like 95% of his matches that he won in the WWE, probably with this move, at least while he was Midian. I, I don't know why this isn't his finisher, considering the move is literally in the game and in his move set. But for some reason, this is just not not his finisher. Instead, they gave him a move that I am not convinced he has ever done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was his finisher. Yeah, that this is his finisher. I, I know you didn't. You wouldn't guess it, because, yeah, it's a really regular move. It's it's just a neck breaker. It's a normal move for everyone else. But, yeah, for real, that was his move. His other move was uh, he also did the slop drop. That's what the move was called when he was one of the Godwins. It's an inverted DDT, you know, like the scorpion death drop. He, he The move is in the game, but it's not in his move set at all. They just didn't give it to him. They gave him the double ups of the moves, which is how you know they're getting lazy with it. And like, yeah, sure, I've seen him do a bulldog, I've seen him do a backdrop, schoolboy, abdominal stretch, I I don't know if I've seen him do that, but okay. But then for, as a back finisher, they give him a reverse suplex. Okay, look at this move. Now, if you've watched a lot of wrestling, you immediately realize this is not a very year 2000 fucking move for the WWE. No, this was a more common move in Japan because this is a Japanese video game and the game engine was originally made for Japanese video games. So they had animations for a lot of moves that Japanese stars do. But for some reason... The developers gave this move as a generic back move to a whole bunch of wrestlers who have most definitely never done this in their life. So, I have no idea. Says his finishers are inverted DDT and Hangman's Neckbreaker, according to SmackDown Hotel. See, they say Hangman's Neckbreaker, and I see people say that a lot on the internet, but it depends on what you call a Hangman's Neckbreaker. Because he doesn't drop to a seated position and do it off the shoulder. He just, you know, back bump. They both back bump. Uh, if you want to call that a hangman's neckbreaker, then that's that's a hangman's neckbreaker. If you want to call that a spinning neckbreaker, it's a spinning neckbreaker. Yeah, it's whatever you want to call it, man. He called it the eye opener, and that was his finish for a long time. What I will say is the slop drop, which was also the H-bomb, which was also the problem solver, the inverted EDT, his was really good looking. He should have just stuck with that one. That was a good move. But uh, yeah, I'm sure it wasn't his decision. Another weird thing, and I guess I can kind of understand why this just straight up isn't in the game. Um, he had this really sweet move where he'd pump handle a guy and then like pull the arm to flip them. And the moment they land from the flip, he'd knee drop them in the forehead. That move is cool as shit. And I don't think it's ever been put in a single wrestling video game ever. Someone's got to make that in Fire Pro or something. Because goddamn, that's like, that move was awesome, and I've never seen anyone steal it since. Someone's totally got to do that move. I, I'm describing it, you probably still don't even know what it looks like, because it's so crazy. All right, uh, so there's another thing about this moveset. There's a lot wrong in the moveset. There's like little bits here and there that are okay. Uh, here's one of the few compliments I can give to his moveset in this one. 
Uh, they're both in front grapple here. So you can mark something as a signature move. I think a guy can have like five or something of them in this game. And I think the way it works is just signature moves will do a bit more damage. The ones they picked are actually moves that he did. Uh, there's a jawbreaker, which is just that. I I've seen him do a jawbreaker before. I don't know if he'd like consider it a signature move in his arsenal, but I've seen him do it. Uh, and the other one is a Manhattan drop. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him do a Manhattan drop before. He like sometimes when they're running off the ropes, he'll catch them and and cut them off that way. I don't. Again, I don't know if you would necessarily say that it's a signature part of his offense. A uh, more signature part of his offense to me would be like when he goes to vertical suplex a dude and he hangs him in the air for a little bit, and then he like twirls and does a couple twists right before he drops them. It's really cool looking. I've seen him do that a few times, but I guess you'd have to animate something unique for that, and they just weren't willing to animate anything unique for Midian, which is sad. Pour one out for my homeboy. What would you say should be a signature moves? One of them, that pump handle flip over thing into the knee drop, that's for sure like a Midian spot. It's like a signature move of his. I've never seen anybody else in my life do it. And I've seen him do it numerous times. Another one, middle rope knee drop. He did that in tons of matches. I don't know. I, uh, a running big boot? He does, He kicked people over all the time. He's got no running kicks at all in this game. I don't know. The other way is that he, they did him dirty. There's unfortunately more. Uh, if we go into fighting styles? Here we go. This is the breakdown on his stats, okay? So... A lot of this is really weird. Stance, wrestling, whatever, sure. Speed, slow. I I guess I get that they wanted him to be like slow and lumbering because he is like a heavyweight. He is almost 300 pounds, but he was actually really quick in the ring. Um, submission skills expert. I understand that they did that because his finisher is a submission move and he would be way too weak if you didn't have him be an expert, but he wasn't really a submission guy. <laughs> Uh, recovery rate is normal. Reaction to blood is panic, which means we lose a bunch of momentum if we bleed. That's bad. Turnbuckle climbing is normal. Weapon use normal. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Endurance weak, which essentially means we have low health, which sucks, but I think that's fair because I understand that he was a guy who didn't usually beat really high class opponents. If you're going to have someone who has low endurance, Midian is a fine enough pick. That's fair. Bleeding normal, whatever, normal. Weight class, heavy. Yeah, he's a heavyweight. Okay, offensive skills, defensive uh, skills. They are identical. They just, they, they didn't want to put any thought into it. They're just the same numbers, okay? Now, immediately, and this is terrifying, offensive strength, head one. That means that we do reduced uh, damage to head attacks. Literally... Literally, Midian's actual finish, the eye opener, is a neck breaker, and it's in our moveset as a regular move. So when we do our neck breaker, we are doing reduced damage. His neck breaker is weaker than other people's neck breakers, even though in real life that was the move he pinned people with. What the fuck? Um, he also does less damage to legs, which is annoying because as a submission expert that they gate they made him. One of your only advantages is going to be, okay, you can make someone tap out to like a limb hold easier then. But one of his only limb holds is a leg lock. So he sucks at it. So you got to rely on the arm lock instead if you're going to try and get him to tap. Unless you want to go for the body, which is the only thing he's decent at is that, yes, his Canadian backbreaker that I don't think he's ever done before is actually going to be his strongest move. Overall, though, we're pretty weak. We're very slow. We get weakened even more by blood. Our head is weak and our legs are weak. We're not good at damaging the head or damaging the legs. And the only thing we have going for us is that our body has a little bit more health and we do a little bit more damage to the body. I guess our strongest advantage is literally just submission skills expert because it will help us also break out of submissions and that will help keep us from dying. As for allies and enemies, we have no enemies, no rivals. Uh, although it really should be D'Lo Brown. He's in the game, and they had a little bit of a rivalry over the the um, European title, but whatever. But we're accompanied by Viscery, Viscera. Viscera is awesome. He's an awesome wrestler too. He looks fucking crazy in this game. <laughs> he looks better in the next game. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, it always takes me off guard how fucking nuts Viscera looks in this game. Um, what is that taunt there? Viscera's fucking awesome. Uh, Stats-wise in the game, he's like kind of just average, I guess, but he's better than Midian. He's still slow. He's also a submission expert for no other reason than they gave him a bear hug as a front finisher. In real life, his finisher was like a grounded body splash. So his standing one is the bear hug. That's why they made him a submission expert, even though he's not a submission guy. Um, no jump distance, but either in that, like his health is all pretty normal and stuff. And if you look at his offensive skills and defensive skills, they're way better than ours. He does a fuckload of body damage, which means that his, um, his bear hug with expert submission skill and five body damage it's actually one of the best submissions in the game. His bear hug is really gruesome. Uh, either in that, all his offensive things are really good, either than working the legs, which he probably has no moves for anyway. And when it says flying attacks, that counts any generic strike, really. So, like, a lot of punches and kicks will count for that. So any three and above is good, two and below is generally bad. His defensive strengths aren't quite as good, but they're still pretty good, and a flying attack defense of four is pretty solid. Viscera is by all means not a bad character, and they did a decent job on his moveset. If we look at his signature moves, I think he's only got two as well, but I do believe that they are grapples that he actually does. Yeah, he calls this a belly-to-back flip suplex. It's just Viscera's fucking awesome belly-to-belly, -belly, which is a nasty-ass move that does crazy damage and has a chance of scoring a knockout, which is one of the reasons why Viscera is really good for like a not amazing stats character. He's also got strong som Sambo Suplex, which is just another one of his side throws. It also has a chance of knockout. Either one of those moves are just terrifying kill moves. So at least we'll have a good tag partner because these two were a tag team. Usually when they won tag matches, it was Midian would do his neck breaker and then Viscero do the splash and, you know, lay on him for the pin. Realize that your server has a gardening channel? Yeah, absolutely go take some pictures of your garden for the gardening channel on my Discord server. They would love it. He looks like someone named Viscera. <laughs> Google him, he actually looked really crazy. 554 pounds, and I've seen him, and I I believe it that he's he's pushing 500 or over 500. I think that after all that rambling, we're ready to start the road to WrestleMania. How well am I going to do? I don't know. I was always better at No Mercy than this one. There's a few mechanics that weren't in this game yet. And there's also little mechanics that you just kind of forget over the years and a lot of obscure little things about how to reverse really specific situations and stuff. But I remember a decent amount. I remember some fun stuff like how to steal a taunt and how to steal a finisher. All right. We're picking Midian. And when you do career mode, you always have to pick a tag team partner. We're obviously going to pick Big Vis. All right. We're starting our career mode. I believe career mode in this game goes for 52 weeks. So we go for one full calendar year and we'll rack up the scorecard and see what we do. Will we win King of the Ring? Will we win the Rumble? Will we win any titles and defend them? What will our, our win-loss ratio be? Okay, so right now, hardcore champ is Al Snow. That's awesome. Uh, European champ is X-Pac. Intercontinental is Jeff Jarrett. WWF tag team champions are the Hardy Boys. And the WWF champion is Stone Cold Steve Austin. No surprise there. Okay. Ooh, what are we going to get booked in for the first week? I swear to God, if the Fed bops me for the goddamn little midi loops that they play of themes in this game, I'm going to be pissed. Is Midian in Wrestling Empire? No, but a lot of Attitude Era guys are. Okay, week one, we're booked on April 1st, April Fool's Day. It's uh, first week. Raw is war. Okay, cool. We're, we're booked in the opening of Raw. That's a good spot. We're against Chaz. He's another kind of lower card guy, but Chaz is a good wrestler. What's What else is going on tonight? Can I see the rest of the card? Yeah. Okay, so um, we got too much versus draws and... Prince Albert. Okay, yeah, they were taken at the time. That's right. Oh, it draws Chaz. I'm mixing up Chaz and draws. I can't fucking... My brain doesn't work today. Chaz was... Oh, he did the burning hammer. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he's one of the he's one of the headbangers. Head, headbangers are good. I watched headbangers at a wrestling show, like, a couple months ago. Like, in 2023, and they're still good. Okay, well... 
Oh, three-way match. I thought it was a tag match for a second. Okay, triple threat. Matt Hardy, Steve Blackman, Hardcore Holly. Singles match, Godfather versus Farouk. Ken Shamrock versus Kane versus Mr. Ass. Wow, seven match night. Uh, you know what? It's added to your They probably all go three minutes, and except for the main, which goes like 21. Except for the main wouldn't be Test versus Triple H. The main would be Stone Cold tagging with Kane versus Undertaker tagging with The Rock. Instead, it's Steve Austin and The Rock tagging together against D'Lo and Mark Henry. How is that going on before the main? Stone Cold and The Rock are tagging before the main. And then we got Triple H versus Test in the main event. I guess that's over, I don't know, uh, the feud over Stephanie McMahon, maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. S? Yeah, there's, there's a wrestler called Mr. S, and he still wrestles today on AEW on Dynamite. He's in his 50s, late 50s, I think. And he is still very good. <laughs> Some guys don't age. He never stopped wrestling. He never stopped being unbelievably jacked. All right. It's a humble beginning. Let's go pin Chaz. No time limit. 10 count on the ring out. Let's remember that because I think the default is 20 in this game because, again, Japanese game. Uh, rope break, bloodshed, no. What? Why? Uh, interference, yes. TKO, no. Okay. Chaz looking crazy. If you change Chaz's theme to the Headbangers theme in this game, then the Headbangers will come out together as a tag team, which is great. But this game was made right when Chaz was like transitioning away from that character. And then they transitioned back and then they stopped using him so much. This entrance is not bad. This is fairly accurate to Chaz. You know, let's, let's turn up the game just a little bit. This is a decently accurate Midian entrance. The double pose in the middle, not so much. But Midian wouldn't taunt so much, like, walking down the ramp. He would, like, crawl a bunch getting into the ring when going up the stairs and stuff and do some poses on the ground. They didn't put that in, but at least they got the him being stoic on the ramp part. So uh, they fucking tried. Low-res images on the big screen are so perfect. I know, right? N64 had its limitations. Yeah, so Chaz has got the burning hammer in this game, which I think is like an S-tier damage move. It's like one of the best finishers in the whole game. No, oh, God, he's charging me. Okay, okay, we're starting like that. Let's get a handle on the controls here. Ah! Right, I don't want to. I don't want to light grapple too much. It's kind of like a light, medium, heavy grapple system in this game. And you gotta figure out when to do what. But light grapples give your opponent just a little bit of momentum, so doing too much early on might just give them the advantage. Would you get over here? Oh man, he's really spilling out already. Oh! All right, I'll taunt a little bit. All my standing taunts are just this generic stretching the arm thing. My ground taunt is a unique one though. Ah! Flying tackle right to the face. So, oh! Eye opener! That's the finish! Oh no, I didn't stay down. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling I'm not gonna get many pins with the eye opener. It's just a normal move in this game. Let me know, chat, if the game is like too loud or too quiet or anything for you, and I will happily change it for you. Just getting an old, uh, getting old moment. You remembered when Randy Orton was considered the new young hotness and now he's the respected senior. Dude, I feel that often when I think about wrestling. When I'll like see a wrestler and I'm like, oh man, they're so good. And I realize like they're like younger than me. <laughs> Why did you pick Midian of all people? Because he's a real Geo. Were you about to get a, oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that was almost beautiful. Did you see that? No, we're, we're putting him away though. We got our, we got our move. Get over here, get over here. Turn him around. I'm stealing your finish, kid. What's your finish? Can't wait to kick out. Burning hammer! The fucking spirit of Kenta Kobashi. Oh my god! Oh my god. No respect for this business. He just kicked it. He just, just kicks out of a burning hammer. Good lord. All right, this match is still going then. I guess I should, I should tell the uninformed, the unenlightened who don't know how fucking sweet Midian is, what Midian's gimmick was. 
Midian originally in the WWE, if we want to go to like his first really big important gimmick, he was one half of the Godwins. They were a couple of country boys from Bitters, Arkansas, two gigantic country boys. And for a while they were good guys for a little while, but eventually, oh, oh, tap him out, break his back. Did you see that slick transition into the abdominal stretch? Oh, rip him in half. Wow, he's hurt. Jawbreaker. Hey, this is the signature. Put him away. Under three minutes. That's that's just the kind of competitor that Midian is. The music, the visuals, the jank. It's like I'm 12 again. I love this game. It's so fun. It's janky looking. I get it, but I can't help it. It's such a fun game. The visuals don't bother me at all. Like, I was just thinking about how good Midian looks in this game. They did such an awesome job on him visually. Shame about, you know, the moveset and all that, but you know. And they don't quite have the high enough res to get the awesome Doc Holiday tattoo that he has on his shoulder in real life, but yeah, what can you do? Give him some generic tattoos that kind of look like they fit, you know? I'm sure I was saying something important there, but then I got, I got distracted by kicking that guy's ass. You know how it is. You know, just Midian things. Um, I don't want to watch the rest of these matches, so let's see how the rest of the night goes. Are there any recent games that are similar to this in playstyle? Okay, if we're only counting recent ones, the closest one, although it is very different, is Wrestling Empire. Wrestling Empire was inspired by this series of games more than any other, but it's still unique and does its own thing. But there's a game coming out, I think it's called like Ultra Pro Wrestling or something. I see it on Twitter all the time. And they've basically recreated the Aki Engine. They use the same animations and stuff. So, yeah, uh, that's probably the closest. Oh, you were talking about uh, Midian, right? His gimmick is that he's a soothsayer. He's, uh, he's a fortune teller. He sees the future. He carries an eye in a jar to the ring. And he sees the future with it. It's awesome. They didn't do much with it, but you could do a lot with it. All right, uh, Too Hot loses 23 minutes, 32 seconds. I just remembered this game is notorious for having ridiculously long matches when you skip them. Like, okay, so that one went like half an hour. That one went seven and a half. That one went half an hour. That one went 17. That one went 48 minutes. This episode of Raw just went on for like six hours or some shit. <laughs> like, that's just the match time there. Can you imagine the segments? Is Eddie in this? No, Eddie didn't jump ship from WCW yet. He's in the next game, which is No Mercy. Uh, no Mercy is the first game to have the Radicals. Um, that's Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko, and Perry Saturn. They're awesome. W one, of, one of them less than the others, I guess. You know what I mean. I think this was the first game you played before you could read. That's crazy. Were you good at it? I'm always curious about that. Some kids can get good at games before they can even read. Austin versus Rock lost to D'Lo and Mark Henry. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. First episode of Raw. Just have him lose. Favorite persona of famous wrestlers before they were famous? Uh, I'm always really, I have a hard time picking like a favorite. I could probably think of a bunch if I just sit there and think about it for a while. I'll see if they come into my head over time. They might because uh, I can probably think of some fun ones on that. Thrasher versus Al Snow for the Hardcore Championship. Now that sounds like a match that would have actually happened. Al Snow retains in 53 minutes. Okay, I know a lot of you who watch me don't watch wrestling. Just so you know, your average wrestling match on TV goes like five to seven minutes. The average one in like the main event maybe goes like 14, at least in WWE. Back in these days, your average match went like fucking three minutes on TV. They did not go 53. <laughs> Even on pay-per-view, they very, very rarely go that long. Whew. Okay. Me and Big Viss have got a tag match against Draws and Prince Albert. Draws's gimmick is that he can puke on command. Yeah, for real. Uh, and Prince Albert's gimmick is that he's a piercer, and he's covered in piercings, and his name is a reference to dick piercings. 
This game was made in 1999, just so you know that. <laughs> yeah, rip draws. Albert, very good wrestler. I've always been a really big fan of him. Oh my god, him in Japan was so badass, too. <laughs> big Daddy V in the house? Hell yeah, I'm a big Big Daddy V fan. I love Viscera, and I love most of his gimmicks. I really loved Big Daddy V growing up. That was a fun gimmick. Oh, I think I got raided. <laughs> oh, shit. Bad at video games. Thank you. I appreciate the raid. Um, I am in the middle of an entrance with, <laughs> with Viscera and Midian, and there's no human way I can ever explain to your viewers what's going on right now. Oh, no. How, how do I explain to your viewers that we're playing WrestleMania 2000? <laughs> oh, no. That looks so sexual. Twitch, nothing's going on. He's okay. I know the guy on the left is called Prince Albert. He's not piercing dicks right now. Uh, this is this game is from 1999. It's from the Attitude Era of the WWF. I fucking love wrestling. I'm like wrestling super fan. Goddamn wrestling super fan, and very proud of it. We're playing as Midian tonight because Midian is the shit. You know what? I'm so happy that you just raided me for like 400 people because. I was just going on a big rant earlier. Jesus, that shoulder block was awesome. I was going on a big rant earlier about how Midian is awesome and nobody remembers Midian as anything but like the fall guy for the ministry. So we're gonna be like maximum Midian respecters here. And I'm gonna convert all of you guys to realizing that Midian's awesome. Also, I say that as Draws is kicking the shit out of me right now. So I think I'm gonna go run over to the corner and tag out to Big Vis. I'm not so good at the tag matches, I'm gonna be honest. The perspective, oh my God, Viscera with the save. Oh, Viscera did not get the save. He just hit a vertical suplex on Big Daddy V. God damn, he's aggressive. Not Jawbreaker, shut him down. Hey man, you may not remember, hold on. I, back when you raided me when I first started streaming and I was playing Earthbound, of course I remember that. You were like doing the outro of Earthbound, I think. Um, I remember you had to run off because I think something happened with your roommate. Sorry, I, I'm not saying that to embarrass you or anything. It's just to say that I, I legitimately remember the stream and I want you to know that uh, I meant everything I said back then about how that shit's fun as hell. I'm so happy and so proud of you. I've been watching from afar, you do well. <laughs> I've been watching you from afar for a long time. Just wanting to know I'm real proud of you, if that means anything to you. You're a much bigger stream than I've ever a big bigger streamer than I've ever been, and you earned that shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, he's rolling me up! <laughs> no, I gotta take it to this. No, this this ain't happening. We're off to a bad start. I just completely whiffed a shoulder block. Oh, Viscera, get back on the apron. I wanna tag you, dude. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. No, this is random, but after watching your series with Chris Nowinski versus the working class at WrestleMania Zix, I found a cheap copy, GameCube copy on a local game store and added it to your collection. Thanks for opening your eyes to the game. That's awesome, man. I'm so happy that you liked the game enough from my stream that you wanted to go watch it. Eye opener! We put him down. Okay, Vis, 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 tag me. Okay, we're now controlling Big Vis. I'm gonna pummel this fucker. We gotta match the big boys now. Big meaty men slapping meat. Oh my god, we launched Albert. Oh, oh, okay. I was bouncing off the ropes. I was gonna go for the big splash. You can get a knockout with that move in this game. Fuck the working glass. Yeah, so uh, WrestleMania, what is it, 19 on the GameCube? In that game, there's a story mode where you beat up construction workers and kill them. That game is fucking nuts, but we played it as Chris Nowinski, whose gimmick is Harvard graduate. So I uploaded it to YouTube and we referred to it as... Uh, Chris Nowinski versus the working class. Oh, that Samoan drop was one of his finishers when he was Big Daddy V. Man, chat, what year was Big Daddy V? Was that like... Damn. 2000, 2006? I think Big Daddy V was 2006, whereas um, the Viscera we're seeing in this game is based on 1999. Oh my god, Midian on the outside's got a baseball bat! He's beating the shit out of draws! 
<laughs> oh my god! <gasps> no, oh, I want to knock him off. Get, get, get! Oh, you know what? He's really hurt. I'm gonna beat him up on the outside. It was 06? Okay. Oh, rip his arms out. <laughs> Tears rotator cuff. I gotta get back in. I don't wanna count out. Bounce off the ropes. That, that did not have the range I thought it would. Get. Okay, our attitude bar is the one in the bottom left. We're pretty close to getting our bear hug. Now, our bear hug would kick the shit out of him. However, it's a submission, and submissions are a little hard to get off in a tag match. The partner's gonna run and make the save. Oh! <laughs> Bulldozed him! Nah, we're putting him away. You love the world's largest love machine gimmick? Me too! It was fun! I don't care what anyone says. SmackDown vs. Raw is awesome. Alright, put him away. Break his back. Make him humble. Draws, get out of here! Draws, get out of here! Fucking Draws broke it up. Midian was too busy being dead on the outside. I don't know if I should even tag to Midian. He looked like he was really getting pummeled out there. You love the old school jank more than the new school jank? I did not mean to drag him. <laughs> ha! I, I didn't hit him with that. Whatever. Hit him, and then what was the button for? There we go. Get, get in the fucking... I wanted to get you in the corner. You know what? Up and over, buddy. Back in this ring. We are killing him. As soon as we tagged out to this, <laughs> everything was fine. We're going to launch him. It's over. Oh, Jesus. He elbowed his way out. No, 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 no. Dodge that. Back to my side of the ring. Do I prefer Surfer Sting or uh, Reversal? No. Whew. In the corner, man. Squash him. There we go. Surfer Sting or Crow Sting? I like both, but yeah, probably Crow Sting. Okay, Midian, make the save, make the save, Midian! No! Oh, Midian missed the save! Motherfuck! Yeah, throw him over there, yeah, yeah, yeah! Midian's got him. Big power slam! Okay, okay! Th this is just a Donnybrook now. We're fucking launching him! Oh, like he's nothing! Grab him, grab him! <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god! Midian saved us! Oh, we got him. Whew. That's our first tag victory. We're undefeated so far. Two victories. That one was much harder. Midian gave us the save at the end there as we absolutely murdered Prince Albert with that belly to belly. We hurled him. That animation there, okay? Let me drop a little history on you here. The animations from this game uh, are are hand animated. It's not mo capped. They're motion. They're they're animated based on individual times these moves were done. That's why they always look right. That's why the people's elbow looks like when the Rock does it. It's not some other dude motion caption uh, it m motion captioning it and acting like the Rock. It's animators looking at the Rock doing it and making it perfect. You know. That belly-to-belly -belly that I just did, that is a Gary Albright belly-to-belly -belly because this game engine was made by Japanese people for the Japanese gaming market originally, and they previously made Japanese wrestling games. Gary Albright launched motherfuckers with suplexes over in Japan, and that is definitely what they based that suplex on. And if any of you are enough of a fucking weirdo to be able to identify that like me, then good on you. Blue Meanie versus Too Hot... No, Too Hot with Scotty. Too Sexy Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher wins. Well, he was like the goat of the of the light heavyweight division after Taka. Taka was the cream of the crop, but he's not in this game. Steve Blackman versus Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy won. D'Lo versus Mark Henry. Oh, the tag team implodes the week after they won the tag match against Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. The tag team implodes as Mark Henry gets a tap out win in 45 minutes in the middle of Sunday Night Heat. Why are there seven matches on Sunday Night Heat? The, talk, the Michinoku driver was such a good move. Damn right. The Michinoku driver, everyone stole that move. Oh, test. 
Seventh match of the night versus Road Dog. There's eight matches tonight. The main event of Sunday Night Heat is Stone Cold and The Rock tag teaming against Big Show and Mankind. That actually sounds like it would be a raw main event in the Attitude Era. They loved their tag teaming. They loved having the the title or the main event just be a tag match between a random handful of the main eventers, and then it just ends when like. It, it's a DQ and everybody hits their finishers and fucking Stone Cold does a beer bath and someone gets drenched and we play his music. Fruk W. <laughs> what? Okay, no. That is actually what a Raw main event would be in 1999. It goes to a 12-minute double countout. There's no finish. Everyone brawls to the outside. <laughs> All right, Midian's undefeated, baby. Don't get me wrong, Big Vis pulled some, pulled pulled some fucking weight in that last match. He really helped us. I was off to a bad start. I 100% blame the raid. I refuse to take personal responsibility for it. Taking personal personal responsibility is lame, and I'm not lame because I'm Midian, and Midian's awesome. Triple threat. Too Hot Scott Taylor versus Meat versus Chaz goes 30 minutes as, as fucking Sean Stasiak wins. His gimmick at this time was that he hung out with the Pretty Mean Sisters, which was three hot babes, and he was their piece of meat. The Pretty, uh, pretty Mean Sisters, the acronym was, of course, PMS. <laughs> All right, we're against Hardcore Holly and Al Snow. I feel like Hardcore Holly is probably gonna turn on Al Snow, but okay. Al Snow should probably be tagging with Steve Blackman. Actually, I don't think their tag team existed yet. All right, we got another tag match though, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm nervous about the tag matches. Yes, we got Viss in our corner, and Viss is a good character, but I'm not very good at tag matches in this game engine. There's like five or six wrestling. No, there's like six or seven wrestling games in this game engine, and they're all really good. And I'm notoriously bad at the tag matches in them. I'm much better at singles matches and like triple threats and stuff. You love the fact that El Snow is jacked these days. He is a shit brick house these days. And he's got to be like, what, early 60s? I love El Snow. I remember once in high school, I went to. um. What was it? There was like a Halloween dance party at the school and I was one of the student dudes who was in the class who had to run it. Uh, and I went as El Snow. I used to have the long hair and I, I wrote the help me backwards and Sharpie on my forehead. And I, two people recognized that I was El Snow, which is more than I thought I would get for an admittedly lazy costume. <laughs> this song Hardcore Holly's Attitude Era theme is actually generic production music. You could buy the sound library for this. Same with the Hardy Boys theme. They're both part of the same sound library, and the whole thing got bought by Tony Khan. So if Tony Khan wanted, he could have Hardcore Holly come out to this theme song. You used to buy Hardy Boys pants? I'm gonna be honest, I think a lot of people used to buy Hardy Boys pants. I think that was a really popular look back then. You saw a bit of the OVW Netflix documentary. He looked very happy and passionate about his job. Um, I have not seen that yet, but I've watched a little bit of modern OVW. And at first I wasn't so hot on it. The commentators were a little iffy and I was watching a lot of the like pre Netflix stuff. So it was when they were still just a little bit rougher and they hadn't cleaned up their YouTube quite as much. But, oh, I went to go post them. Oh, this saved me. Did you see that? That was an awesome trip. Oh fuck, he's got head, that's his finish. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. We knocked it out of his hands, we're fine. Whoo, discus punch right to the face. Deck him, deck him. Oh my God, we're just nailing him across the ring. Clothesline, oh my God. Yeah, this is a Donnybrook. Take him out, up and over. Oh my God, we've got him fucked up. Slide back in. Come on, slide back in, buddy. You're damaged. Fuck. Oh, that dodge roll was sweet. What is the... That fight on the outside is going crazy. He just hit a suplex on Vis. 
Oh, I missed the kick. I don't know why he's got that weird little dinky kick as like the running strike reversal. Oh no, nope. Okay, we, we still have the advantage. No, don't, don't take out, don't take out. Ah, oh, I don't think Hardcore Holly's nearly as damaged. Sucks, damn. Shouldn't be holding a head in the middle of the fight. That was his move. That's like how he pinned people back in the day is he'd hit people with the mannequin head when like the ref wasn't looking or if it was a hardcore match, it doesn't matter if the ref was looking. He had a lot of hardcore matches back then. But yeah, uh, I watched a little more OVW and I've been kind of yeah, tuning in a little bit. I gotta say they're, they're winning me over and I think they're winning me over because their crowd is so goddamn hot every night. Their crowd goes wild for everything they do. It's fun. That and I love the Outrunners. The Outrunners are sweet. Jesus, my 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 timing on the reversals. There we go. I got that one. My timing on the reversals has not been hot tonight. Now I was making a dick joke. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Uh, that's that's what the head thing is. Oh, block the punch. That's what the head thing is. Uh, in the Attitude Era, he has the head and it says God head and yeah, it's a head joke. Whew. Did you watch Lucha Underground when it was on? I didn't watch it when it was on, um, but like, oh no, I watched it when season four was on, the final season, and then I went back and watched um, all of it, but I didn't see, um, I didn't see some of season three yet because it got taken off Tubi before I got to see it. So I've seen most of Lucha Underground and it was great. Whoo, the block. Ah. No, no. Oh. Man, I should take out. I just realized I've been doing all oh, the insy. I've been doing this whole match as Midian. And I'm kicking ass. Oh, fuck. I went right into that Bob Holly dropkick. If you didn't know, Hardcore Holly's known for having a particularly gorgeous dropkick. And yeah, damn, he does. Oh, Vis grabbed him. No, no. That's fine. No one talks about Angelico from there? Oh, Angelico is incredible. You know he still works for AEW? Yeah, boot rake him in the corner. Look at that. Just choke him out. All right. Throw him off the ropes. Made Penta your favorite wrestler? Penta's awesome. Fuck, he decked me with that. All right, all right. Whoo, drop toe hold. That's before they had the awesome animation for it. Jawbreaker, that one's a winner. It's a medium grapple, so I can do it out of a light lockup. But it's one of our signatures, so it does some more damage. The eye opener. You mean Sparky Plug, yeah. He was also called Thurman Sparky Plug for a little while. Back when he was a race car driver. And he was legitimately a race car driver, too. Uh, he knew how to race stock cars. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The uppercut in the corner. Okay. I, I took him down with a single leg there. I'm tagging out. I'm being too reckless. I've taken some damage over time. I'm now controlling this. Yeah, break his shoulder. I love this move where you just reel them in with shoulder barges. In singles matches, it's a really good move. Throw him into the ropes. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is holding his leg. I didn't realize when he was brawling with Bob Holly early in the match, he must have hurt his leg. I gotta be careful about that. I think it's his weak point. Oh shit, I saw something in the chat about creepypasta readings. I got I can't miss that message. Chat, don't let me miss that message. I just don't want to get my ass kicked. Alright. We're launching him into orbit. Oh fuck. The elbow. No. You are not getting to your corner. Tackle him. All right, all right. Oh my God. Oh, he's selling back up to his feet. All right. Oh, oh fuck, I was gonna give him another one. Okay, okay. Get out of here, Bob. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, fuck, fuck, <laughs> now we're on the outside. No, 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 no. Oh fuck, I do not wanna brawl on the outside. I do not wanna brawl on the outside right now. Ooh. Okay, we're back in, we're back in. 
Cool. Midian's helping. Oh, fuck. Midian's taking a big move. Fuck. Fuck you, Bob. Fuck you, Bob. Fuck you, Bob. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. We just took two hits from head. Three hits from head. Four hits. Single leg. Oh, okay. Oh, I was gonna go for the splash and just try to put him down. Oh, he pulled me down by the mohawk. Oh my god, yeah, we took some big weapon shots here, and this is from Al Snow. If anybody in the game does bonus damage from weapon shots, it's gonna be Al Snow. He's the hardcore champ. Oh! How is... Motherfuck this guy. That put away the last guy. All right, I'm tagging back out. We're Midian again. Fuck, fuck, he's firing up. Fuck, fuck, he's really firing up. No, we got him. Oh my god, he's going up and over. We're diving, we're diving. <gasps> we just did a diving elbow drop from the top to the outside. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, take it. Now give me the count out. All right, fine. Into the post. Oh, I blocked it. All right, you come back in. Up and over, vertical suplex, get into the center. They're brawling on the outside, just put him away. Viss, keep him out there. Viss, keep him out there. <gasps> oh, he kicked out. Shit. Ha! Oh, oh, that clobbered him. Hook the leg. Two. Oh. I don't know if he kicked out or if that was Bob Holly breaking it up. I'm going for the eye opener. Fuck, fuck, he reversed it and just sent me ass over tea kettle with that German. Take him out, take him out. Viss, you're in the wrong corner. What are you doing, dude? Back elbow. Referee, you want to get control of this? Someone get Bob out of the ring. Okay, okay, okay. Manhattan drop. No, that was the wrong button. We got him in a side headlock. That's fine. Do some damage. Okay. We are beaten to shit right now. We gotta put this shit away. Manhattan drop. No, he just sat out on it. No, get the leg, get the leg. Oh, fuck. He tagged out to Bob. Okay. Okay. We got to play this smart. Oh, his neck is hurt. Everybody's hurt. Everyone's holding something. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, bounce off the ropes. Shoulder block. We got him. Around the back. Yes. Oh, that's a strong move. <gasps> no, he's getting up. He's getting up. I want to just... If I can just get one more of those backdrops on him. Oh, no. Oh, that clothesline. Oh, fuck. We're groggy. <gasps> the dropkick. We blocked the dropkick. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, fuck. I fucked up the drop down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, he hip tossed me. We're good. Oh my god, I can't believe we're still in this. He blocked the jawbreaker. Oh, we both completely whiffed. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. The reversals. The reversals after reversals. Oh my god. Viss, Viss, grab him. No, I got him. Arm breaker. Okay, we need to take to Viss. Our momentum is really low. It makes it hard to reverse and stuff. Okay, I don't even care if he's tagging out because I'm tagging out. Yeah. Okay, okay. We stand a chance, I think. <laughs> Magikarp, you splash. Hey, Viss, can you splash? It's one of his best moves. Fuck, how did he block us from giving him the belly to belly? We outweigh him by like... 300 pounds. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ooh. I went for the power slam and he rolled me up in the small package. Are we getting fucking raided again? <laughs> Jesus. We're getting raided by two different people at the same time now. Good lord. <laughs> Is that AJ? Hey, man. How's it going? Oh, fuck. The spine buster. How'd he spine buster this? <laughs> Hold on. We are like deep in a really intense match, everybody. <laughs> Damn, dude, I don't normally stream in the middle of the night. 
thanks for all the raids, everybody. It's been a stressful ass day. I appreciate it. God, look at the momentum in the bottom right of Bob Hawley. He has so much momentum we need to chop down. Yes, yes, let him tag out, let him tag out. Fuck, you're not gonna tag? Tag out, please tag out, man. El Snow, yeah, thank you. I'd much rather fight El Snow right now. We just need like one really big move. I just wanna hit one of Viscera's like crazy power moves. Here we go, this is what we need. Launch him. That's totally a rope break, but I don't care. Oh my God, how'd he kick out? Okay, no, no. Jesus Christ. This one is going. This is a long match. Off the rope. There we go. Fuck. Look at the brawl on the outside too. Midian was going for the eye opener. Off the ropes. Oh, I was going for Viscera's fucking murder kick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, let me out. I think you're booked to lose. I think I am, brother. Ah! How, how, dude, how? I just gave you my belly to belly. Okay, power slam, put him down. <gasps> oh. Murder kick. Yes, yes. <gasps> oh! Fucking, fucking the weapon shots. Midian is getting his head bashed in. Just crush him. Just keep launching this fucker with power moves. He is not fighting back. I, sorry, Midian. I know I should be making the save on you, but I am killing Al Snow over here. Oh, fuck, I mistimed that. There we go, up and over. Oh, okay. Mm, launch him, Midian, make the save. Oh my god, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh god, no, that was totally Bob that saved him on that one. I don't think he was kicking out. Murder kick. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. We got him with the fucking rolling capo kick. I love that move. Visser is the best, man. <laughs> Bob just missed the drop kick. Oh, what an ending. Oh my god, that match was crazy. Sorry, whoever's name was in the blue who was saying something about creepypasta earlier. I think I, I caught a glimpse of you saying that you were willing to like copy paste it. Could you paste that? I'm totally, I'm up for reading it. It was just, it was a crazy fight, you know? <sighs> Midian keeps going for the ghost saves, yeah. Oh, Midian's still undefeated. A and Viscera, and Viscera. Midian's still undefeated. This guy, yeah, that's the one. Let me click that. Um, oh shit, do I have like no way of scrolling to it? Oh shit, yeah, I don't know how to scroll to that. If, if someone could copy paste it, I'd appreciate it. Whew, I need some water. Merry Christmas, MDB and chat. First time I've been here in a long while, long time viewer from your creepypasta days. That's awesome, thank you, I appreciate that. Oh my God. I don't know how my voice hasn't given out yet. I'm gonna be honest. Whew, okay, Christian versus uh, Steve Blackman. A countout win for Christian in 37 minutes, almost 38. Edge beats Farouk. Triple Threat Road Dog beats his own tag team partner and his other stable mate. Okay, DX implodes as Road Dog beats X Pac and Triple and um, and Mr. Ass in five minutes. He he made someone tap out. I I don't know if I've ever seen Road Dog do a submission either than like a chin lock. Undertaker and Kane uh, get beaten by Stone Cold and The Rock. <laughs> and in that was not the main event. The main event is the Hardy Boys putting their tag titles on the line against Draws and Prince Albert, who we beat last week. 
I don't know why they got the title shot and we did, but I guess it doesn't matter because the Hardy Boys retain in 45 minutes. Yeah, I guess Stone Cold and The Rock are just a fucking tag now, because three weeks in a row they've had tag matches. Guess they're just best buddies. I'm pretty sure that The Rock was a heel at this time, right? I think this game is based on 99, so The Rock was part of the corporation. All right. So far, I don't think any titles have changed hands, and we're still undefeated, baby. Can I have a singles match, please? Midian's got to show what he can do in the singles d division. I'm going to get me some, some titles, you know? I'm not really looking to go after the Hardy Boys right now. Don't get me wrong, I like the Hardy Boys. Oh, that font for Heat is so shitty, I hate that. Heat. Oh, we got another tag match. Oh, god damn it, we're against Al Stone and Hardcore Holly. Oh, you know what? They're, they must be tagging in this game because the Job Squad was still a thing. Okay. Well, why can't you get me Blue Meanie to fight? He's easier. He's got the, he's got the even flow DDT in this game. Thrasher versus Albert. Thrasher wins. Uh, God damn it. Okay, guys, we got the rematch. We're against the job squad. Pin me, pay me. Jesus, guys, it's been like three minutes and we're rematching them now. Is this even gonna go well? <laughs> How did Thrasher beat Albert? I don't know. I think back in these days, too, Albert was doing some crazy moves. For like 15 years, the only wrestler you knew about the, was The Undertaker. That's fair. A lot of people are that way. Always hated this mode because nine times out of ten you got a tag match for no reason. Yeah, that's what I remember being frustrating about this, too, is you get way more tag matches than singles matches, or at least it feels like it. And the tag matches are long. The thing is, like, a singles match is, like, I don't know, three to seven minutes usually, right? It's fun, snappy matches. The tag matches are a lot longer. It's also hard to get a pin when your tag partner is Viscera. Not that Viscera sucks or anything, but Viscera goes over the top rope when he gets in the ring, and that's a really slow animation. So Viscera has a harder time actually running in and making the save, you know? When the guy's running in to break up your pin or something, Viscera is going to have a hard time getting there to save you. Difficulty spikes too, yet yeah, difficulty spikes can be pretty nasty in this game. Some guys are way harder than others. Okay. Ooh, good song alert. Twist the arm. Maybe that's maybe that's the route I want to go this match. Work a limb. I got that I got that arm ringer into the um, elbow smash, and I do have a grounded arm submission. We only have a two in arm damage out of a maximum of five, which isn't amazing, but we are a submission expert. Maybe we don't need to, though. We're we're laying in right now. Early advantage here. This is going pretty perfectly, actually. Drop down. Let's do a hip toss. We're, like, running spots here. Mm, you know, throw him off the ropes again. Give him a kick. Ooh. Shoulder barge. Let's bring him up and over back into the ring. Fuck, his attitude is down. Ours is up. We're getting some damage in on him. Now remember, attitude's not health, it's just the momentum of the fight. It goes up and down. Helps you hit reversals and stuff, you know? Health in this game is invisible, but it's there. It's a real mechanic tracked in the background. The game behind the scenes on how it works is actually really sophisticated. It's cool. Oh, man, we're kicking his ass. Midian kicking ass. I like it. Gab in the middle with a sleeper. All right, our sleeper hold's probably not that strong because we don't do much head damage. Don't you dare tag out. Oh, no. Oh, we did so much damage to him. All right, Bob. We'll fight you until we can get you to tag back out. Oh, shit. If I was quicker on the draw there, I could have done some cool tag thing there. Boom. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, I still have high momentum. I can take control of this. Get. 
I completely misclicked on that dive. God damn, I gotta do a taunt. There we go. Got my finisher. Yeah! The Canadian backbreaker that I'm not convinced he's ever done. Oh, he did not stay in that long. He is really not hurt. No! Oh, I wanted to do Bob's finisher just so I could say the name. Chat, do you know the fucking name of Bob Holly's finisher at this time in the Attitude Era? It was not yet the Alabama Slam. He did a Falcon Arrow. Does anybody in the chat know the name of Bob Holly's Falcon Arrow? Oh, fuck, wrong button. Yeah! I'll give you guys a little while. Because uh, if we, I don't know if we have any wrestling scholars in the chat right now. I Most of the names that I know of as fellow wrestling fans, I don't see in the chat right now. So I'll have to be the historian for you. The name of Bob Holly's Falcon Arrow in 1999 was the Holocaust. Good lord, Bob. <gasps> oh! Ah, yeah, Game of York got it. I, I was gonna go for the uh, abdominal stretch there to wear down the body, but he got me with a clothesline. Oh! <laughs> Squashed him in the corner with that lariat. Fucking just... Just stay down. Just stay down, Bob. Only a one count. That's fine. Uh, fun, obscure mechanic of this game. The more pinfalls you do, the harder it is for your opponent to kick out. Um, damaging them also makes it harder for them to kick out, obviously. Just cumulative damage and momentum, yours compared to theirs, and, you know, how much damage the last move they took did, and how much damage, damage they've taken in the last little while. Stuff like that all matters. But one of the mechanics is just getting a lot of pins. If you just pin a guy with full health, like, 50, 60 times in a row, eventually you will beat him. This... This accidentally need me there when I went running in for a move. They did not care about offending people in uh, late 90s WWF. No, not at all. And it's hilarious and I love it. Boom! I don't think he's staying down. Nah. It was worth a try. Our momentum is really good, though. I want to get more power moves. The thing is, Midian doesn't have many. Even many of his strong grapples, like like this, it doesn't do much damage. It's, it's a move you can have in your weak grapple move set. All right, turn him around, Manhattan drop. Boom, we actually hit it for once, pin him. That's one of our SIGs. Oh shit, that could have actually beaten him. All right, guys. This is for you, chat. I get, get away from me. No, get away from me. I need to do the thing for the chat. I need to do the thing for the chat. Oh, I'm not gonna get my chance. Oh, well, you'll never know what it was. You'll never know. Unless I can do it again. But I need my finish. <laughs> Getting some taunts in. Gives you momentum. Ooh. I was gonna go for a running grapple, then I remember they aren't in this game. Roll them up! Roll them up! Oh, Vis, come on. Mm. Get, get, Jawbreaker. Ah, just fucking pin him. Vis, get him. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> Well, the rematch went in, went, went much better for us. All we had to do was nail a jawbreaker and it was over. Not the most interesting finisher in the world, but you know what? Stone Cold's finisher was a jawbreaker too. It was just a fancier looking one. Yeah, the AI in this is worse than in No Mercy. If you play him back to back, you'll notice. I... <laughs> Why does Pat Patterson have a shot at, at the European title? Pat Patterson just beat X-Pac for the European title. I, For anyone who doesn't know, Pat Patterson was one half of the Stooges. Um, in 1999, he was an old man who was like a comedy office stooge who would get beaten up and humiliated. He's like a joke wrestler. B don't get me wrong, like back in like the fucking 50s and 60s and bullshit, he was, a, he was a legit pro wrestler that was famous, but 
1999, he was a comedy character. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, Brian Christopher beats Chaz in 57 minutes. They went fucking King's Road. <laughs> Christian versus Chris Jericho went double, <laughs> double count out. Jeff Jarrett gets beaten by count out in 54 minutes by Val Venus. Undertaker loses to, by count out to Triple H. And in the main event, D'Lo Brown and Mark Henry lose to the big show in Mankind. Whew. Undefeated for five matches. So far, we've had three or for four matches undefeated. Three matches have been tagged. Can we please have a singles match? Don't get me wrong. I know in real life, Midian and Viscera did a lot of tag team matches. They were a legit tag team as part of the ministry. Uh, but, but, I would quite like a singles match. Midian was the European champion in real life. I know he didn't win it. He literally found it in a bag and they counted him as the champion because the Attitude Era was insane. But he was the European champion. That is written down in the history books as a legitimate reign. <gasps> we have a rematch against Chaz. Okay, um... Well, fuck it. It's a match. Uh, it's a singles match. I guess I'm happy about that. I, I was hoping maybe we could move up the card a little bit. Um, or just fight someone different. But sure, I'll I'll beat Chaz on Raw again. It feels like this should probably be on Shotgun Saturday night, but okay. It's fine. We gotta work our way up the card, okay? Look, I, I bet you Midian and Chaz have wrestled a bunch on the house show circuit. Sometimes you just gotta fill matches sometimes. Maybe we're taping this for like local broadcast in New York or something, you know? Maybe there's a really hot feud behind this that we don't even know about. So sad that he doesn't have Thrasher on the outside as his manager, but we got Vis out there to back us up. In fact, maybe I should be throwing this guy out for Vis to sick on him. Boom. Yeah, Vis, put the boots to him. He didn't, okay. You don't wanna put the boots to him? This. Put the boots to him, this. Put, put the boots to him, this. Alright, it's one of those nights. Ah! Up and over. Fucking choke him to death. Ah! Now you can't breathe. I didn't do nothing. It's fine. Ref, stay off of me. Nothing illegal. Nothing illegal about that move. That was a Greco-Roman chokehold. <laughs> Viscera's being wholesome now. I, I cannot nail that drop down to save my life. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, oh, okay. I didn't think he was going to start getting up there. Okay. The abdominal! It's a good move. And it does body damage. That's good for softening him up for the Canadian backbreaker. All right, let's put him away. Fire up the crowd. We got to come up with a name for Midian's Canadian backbreaker because I don't think he ever did one, so it didn't have a name. <laughs> oh, he's going to tap. He's going to tap. Oh, he didn't tap. All right. How hurt is he? What? That, that's the pretty mean... It's meat! Oh my god! He has our other finisher. <laughs> oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay, it's okay. Vis is running in to make the save. I got this, I got this. Yeah, Viscera, you keep meat off of us. I got this. Yeah, Viscera's got him. We're fine, we're fine. Easy! You see, you give me a singles match, Midian puts him away in two minutes. I do like the idea that we're breaking the middle of his back with our backbreaker and our name is Midian. We can probably do something with that. Yeah, that was easy. We we crushed him in that one. That went great. I don't know why Meat came out to fix him. I can't remember any association between Chaz and Meat back in the day. I'm happy that Viscera hit the ring the moment he heard the music, though. He was right in there to back us up. All right, uh, <laughs> double count out. Oh, Hardcore Holly and uh, Al Snow, the job squad explodes as uh, Hardcore Holly taps out Al Snow in two minutes. Hardcore Holly 
doesn't do submissions. Uh, the <laughs> the brood explodes as Edge beats Gangrel. I'm gonna tell you right now, if I if Midian wasn't in this game, I was gonna play as Gangrel because Midian's the fucking best. Also, I love uh, Gangrel. If you guys don't remember how fucking sweet he was, not just like his gimmick as a vampire, it was awesome. But like, go back and watch some of his matches from the Attitude Era. He's still good now, but he had the snappiest fucking suplexes in the world. He would do these wicked fucking float overs where he just flips right back up to his feet. The way that guy moved in the ring was like, oh, it was immaculate. That guy had some wicked awesome body control. It's so cool to watch. He's an exciting wrestler to watch. Ken Shamrock, famous from UFC, uh, just lost to Kane. Fruit and Bradshaw versus Stone Cold and The Rock. Acolytes lose. Triple H versus Undertaker in the main. Undertaker wins by count out. A lot of count out. Gangrel and the Brood, fun fact, I saw a poster from Wrestling Next Week, X-Men's Wrestling Show event in the UK. Yeah, Gangrel still wrestles around the world. Gangrel's awesome. He trains a lot of people, too. I watched Gangrel on NWA on a show, like, a couple months ago. All right. It's late. My throat's getting sore. I got time for one more match. Let's do it. What are we booked on? Sunday Night Heat. Let's keep that undefeated streak going. Oh yeah, Gangrel absolutely could have been like IC champ or something, like work rate champ. He was uh, unbelievable in the ring. No one ever talks about that though. When I hear people talk about Gangrel, they just, I guess because they were kids, they just remember that he had this cool gimmick with the goblet and the, and the blood spit, you know? Hi, meat. Oh, we have a feud? Oh. <gasps> No, 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 no. I think you got it all wrong. I've come here to beat your ass. WWF doesn't need a hero to look up to. It sure doesn't need you, Midian. Get out of the ring before I remove you from it. Oh man, Meat's calling us out. Just shut your mouth for one minute. Who do you think you are? So you want to make a name for yourself? Well, bring it on. I'll whip your ass in front of all these people. Man, fast text. And then, and then we both pose like it's a rap battle or something. Are we working tonight? In the middle of the show, one-on-one, -on -one, Midian versus me. I'm all up for that. We got a real feud going, everybody. All right. Hardy boys, <laughs> annihilate Chaz and Thrasher. Okay, so the headbangers are still tagging a bit. Scotty Too Hottie loses to Prince Albert. Triple Threat China beats Gerald Briscoe and Al Snow. Hardcore Holly loses to Christian. F uh, f the CEO of the WWF, Vince McMahon, goes to a double count out in 30 minutes with Edge. And we got our match with Meat. Maybe I gotta start using weapons more often. I do believe there's no DQ in this game. But weapons don't stay on the ground when they're dropped. That wasn't until No Mercy, which is the next game and the last game in this engine, I believe. Although, if you've ever played um, Def Jam Street, was it Battle for New York, Battle for whatever, those two games, a lot of animations in that game are from No Mercy. You will see move animations in even this game that are also in Def Jam. Like, this, the standing grapple chop move animation is in both games. A lot of grounded uh, grapples of this game are also in Def Jam. It's completely reused animations for those specific moves. Yeah, you, you played it recently. Isn't it so cool when you first see that? Yeah, Def Jam Fight for New York. That was it. And then there's also Def Jam Vendetta. Both cool games. But yeah, it's like straight up one for one, same animation which is so cool to see it used in a completely different game. Like, I know there's a lot of wrestling moves in the Def Jam games, but still. Ooh. Oh, I almost got the kick off in time. Who's he managed by? I can tell that's one of the Pretty Mean Sisters, but I cannot fucking tell who. Deborah? It looks like Miss Elizabeth, but she's not in the game. 
Oh man, we were just lighting him up in the corner. Terry Runnels? Maybe. It doesn't... It doesn't really look super like Terry Runnels, but I don't know who else it could be. I guess the hair kind of looks right, but the color is wrong. It's probably Terry Runnels. You're probably right. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that, uh, I didn't know that Def Jam was going to be a WCW one. I didn't know they were going to go back to making a WCW game. I wish they could have gotten to in time because the WCW game of, like, 2001 end of WCW roster would have been really fucking fun. Oh my god. Late WCW's roster had so many fun cruiserweights on it. That would have been awesome to play in a video game. Wow, his body's hurt already just from, like, the minimal work we've done to hurt him. Alright, belly to back. The falling belly to back in this game is a C damage move, which means it's really powerful for a move that's not very hard to do. It's one of our best moves, probably. Alright, let's do some shoulder barges in the corner to weaken his torso for the submission. Bunch of little mini spears in the corner. Oh. Oh, you're not. Wow, he actually got the suplex off on us with that low of momentum. Get. Put him down. Pick him back up. Reel him in. Get him. It won't be as strong as the special meter is gone, but we still get the move. Oh, he might not tap. <gasps> oh. I think that's the first guy we put away with it. You heard his back break there. I was worried he wasn't going to tap. He wasn't groaning and screaming like they usually do when they're about to tap. But uh, I heard the crack of his back. That's the Canadian backbreaker when it works. Brutal. And then you just fucking throw him at the floor with a dominator. You can just take it on his knees. Yeah, it's a brutal move. Late WCW was a bit of a dumpster fire. It could be, but it was also real fun. Well, the shoulder barge strategy worked. Here's a little fun fact you can take with you when you're playing any of the Aki Corporation uh, wrestling games. So like No Mercy and stuff, the WCW ones, yeah. Um, you can still do your finisher uh, like in the moments when the the special text is fading out, but if the point of impact of the move is after it stops saying special, it will do considerably less damage because all moves do more damage when your special meter is full. Likewise, moves do less damage when you have less momentum. So if you're doing like a stunner spree as Stone Cold, because he can do his finisher really fast, if your last stunner was after the text has gone away, then it will have done less damage than the other stunners. It'll still probably be better just from the cumulative damage, you know? But just so you know. So like that submission I did at the end there was a weaker submission. If I had gotten the submission off earlier, he'd probably tap really quick, but I was worried that he would be too close to the ropes and he would just get a rope break and squeeze out of the submission that way. I love that you can taunt in this game when the special meter is starting to run out and it will recharge the special. Yes, if you can get a complete taunt off when it's almost gone, you will get some more momentum. I don't think it's a full amount more, but that's one of those obscure things people don't know. I, I remember there was like a Twitter thread that explained a lot of crazy secrets in, uh, in um, No Mercy and a lot of Aki games that I used to read. I should go reread that, refresh my memory. Oh, Big Show's fighting for the world title in the main event. And Big Show, in six minutes, just beat Stone Cold Steve Austin by pinfall. Wow. Stone Cold just went down. Uh, I think I'd do exit here. Yeah, and then it's like always saved because N64, right? Yeah. 
Cool. Just making sure. Wow. That was a fun-ass stream. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, for the, the YouTube viewers who are watching this like a Let's Play, I'll do a little outro for you guys. But just so you know, if you look in the playlist section of this on YouTube, then whenever I put these videos up, they're unlisted for a little while, and they're in the playlist for you to watch early before I'm done putting up all the, the mid-rolls and metadata and thumbnails and all that bullshit. So if you just want to, like, camp out the playlist, you get to watch them early. So there you go. Um, but for those of you watching in the stream right now, after I stop the recording, I'll talk to you guys for just a little bit, because I want to thank you guys for the raid and all that properly. So, for those of you watching on YouTube, there's going to be plenty more of this. I look forward to playing so much more of this, and who knows, maybe we'll be undefeated for all 52 weeks. I don't think that's happening, but who knows. Until next time, have a nice day.